doctor. We heard that you spent some of your lockdown with a, a dude named Bob. Who is Bob? And are you serious um, about Bob? Yeah, I mean, we're serious. We we basically spent all of quarantine together. He is lovely. Um, he's a man of few words, often shirtless and in really good shape, which I, what could you ask for in a, in a quarantine partner? But yeah, we've, we've spent a lot of time together. Oh, That's he <laughs> oh, <wow>. oh. <laughs> No. He is, I did put shorts on him because I think he was upsetting the neighbors. Um, but I learned how to fence over this break. And yeah, so Bob it, has been a constant companion. I was going to say, it looks like he has some stab wounds on him. Is that? <laughs> yeah. He's gotten hit. I mean, it's been nice to take out my, uh, you know, my anxiety and aggression on, on my friend Bob. He, he takes it well. He's in the garage. Sorry he couldn't be with us. <laughs> have, have you ever fenced? I've never fenced, no. Um, it's shockingly cardio aerobic, wouldn't you say? Yes, completely. It's funny because before when I could still go into the gym, I was fencing with Bob on Zoom and then I went in and then I was finally fencing other people, but mostly kids. And um, I, I lost, but it's, <laughs> it, it takes a tremendous, I mean, I lost to like a 10 year old. It was fun. Um, <laughs> it takes a tremendous amount of stamina. And also, I think with the mask and all of the gear, yeah, it really gets your heart rate going. Yeah. And also, it's just, like, exciting. It's funny that you think of it as sort of this very refined sport, which it is, but it's also, there's something kind of primal and yeah. about it, which yeah. I think gets your heart rate up. It's very cool.